Starting in Minecraft Alpha version 1.0 and working my way into the modern day, I'm going to collect every block in Minecraft as it was released, slowly collecting more and more with every new version of the game. This is a very primitive version of the game compared to what we have now, so if you're asking yourself, is this thing in the game? The answer is probably no. Even the options are bare bones. I'll be playing on a normal difficulty survival world and sticking with the same world the whole way through. Hopefully, assuming it doesn't get corrupted, deleted, or incompatible with versions in the future. But here we go. We have a sort of peninsula next to a giant mountain, which is pretty cool. I miss the old world generation, even if it has improved quite a bit. You also always spawn on sand, which will be the first block that we collect. Deserts didn't exist yet either, so cactus just kind of spawned wherever there was sand, even if that doesn't make any sense at all. Also, the bright green grass is incredibly nostalgic for me. This is around when I first started playing the game in 2010, so I'm gonna be geeking out quite a bit. We also can't get some blocks quite yet, like grass for example. While it is in the game, the Silk Touch enchantment won't be here for a while. Same with stuff like sponge and leaves. They're in the game, yes, but there is no way of getting them quite right now. But as soon as we can, rest assured, we will. Oh yeah, there's also no game audio for some reason. There was definitely sound in this version, but something must have broken along the way, so it is completely quiet. Luckily, in my testing, it does get fixed for Alpha 1.1, which we won't get to today, but we will in the next episode. Having no sound will suck quite a bit when it comes to caving, seeing as how I won't be able to hear any mobs coming or anything. I'm gonna get a lot of wood at the start, and we'll probably set up shop right where world spawn is, because there isn't a way to set your spawn point yet, so we best not stray too far away. Ooh, clay. This stuff was really rare back in the day, I remember. Yellow flowers and roses are also blocks by the definition of the challenge. Even if they're not block shaped, they can be picked up and they can be put down. So that's a block. Same thing goes for all plant life in this game that gets introduced later on. Let's clear out this beach to make a spot for the night, which is coming very soon. I still need coal though, which I sort of neglected. This is risky. There's no swimming or sprinting, so this is as fast as I can go before you yell at me. It's also so dark out at night, so I will do my best to make it visible for both you and me. Well, I'm pretty much stuck here for the night. I got a furnace to get some bricks cooked up, and tomorrow we're going to get every block that we've collected so far together. Good morning, sunshines. Here are the 16 double chests that will hold every unique block that we will collect. We'll move from top left to bottom right as we go. So far, we've collected dirt, sand, clay, brick, wool, gravel, cactus, wood planks, wood logs, sapling, rose, dandelion, and cobblestone. And then smelting a piece of cobblestone gets smooth stone. That hasn't changed. And apparently a pressure plate is three blocks, not two. Interesting. And a button is two smooth stone instead of one. Fascinating. To think I used to know all these recipes. A lever is still the same. Or a lever if you're Ethos Lab. Add a torch and some glass as well. And of course, chests belong in the chest too. Seven sticks only gets you one ladder. That... that is criminal. Luckily, there is a trick with ladders that I'll show you later. I think the old fence recipe went like this, yeah, okay. And we'll make signs too. Signs, doors, and many other things will have different variants in the future once more wood types are added. So these will count as oak signs and oak doors once that happens. And since I don't have enough cobblestone to make another furnace, I will just take this one. First monster kill? Ow, dickhead. We'll keep a chest for our personal belongings as well. Alright, so here's our collection so far. A lot of what we still need is underground, so tomorrow we'll get caving. We're definitely gonna need to get some food for this journey. Caving now is easy with enchanted armor and shields, but it was no joke back in these days. Okay, I finally found a cave, and it goes nowhere. Oh, here we go. And some coal to cook my food, and some iron, too. 
Unfortunately, this cave also goes nowhere. All right, I legit cannot find a cave that goes anywhere. The good news is that I found sugarcane. The bad news is it's getting dark. And I might be in trouble if I can't find somewhere to hide very soon. I hope that the third cave here is the charm. Okay, yeah, this definitely goes deep. That's good. I spy with my little eye a brown mushroom. Nice. Oh my god, that's so scary. <laughs> it's nothing but darkness except those bright red eyes. Horrifying. I don't know when they add the brightness slider, but I am cranking that to the maximum as soon as possible. It is impossible to see in these caves. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is... advanced darkness. Not sure if a bucket is the best thing to use my first iron on, but water and lava are technically blocks, and while I can't acquire the blocks themselves, the next best thing would be to fill up a couple of buckets with them and then put them in the chest back home. Full iron tools and a hat. With most of the essential iron tools crafted, let us continue to grab iron as we'll need it for an iron block and many more things in the future. I guess spiders couldn't quite climb walls yet. Well, I've pretty much explored the whole cave, it actually didn't go as deep as it looked. Every path dead-ended at some point. Luckily, it did kill enough time to roll over to the daytime. My hall ended up being... Excuse me. What is this? Uh, yeah, so my hall ended up being about a half a stack of iron. I never got deep enough to get gold or diamonds, so we're not done with caving yet. Not even close. But we will add our mushroom and our sugarcane to the collection as well. Which cannot be planted on sand, apparently. I think back in these days it was just dirt. Yeah. It's ugly, but it's fine. And here's an iron block to add too. I have enough extra iron to make armor and an extra bucket as well, and there is some lava over there that I can grab and bring back to add to the collection as well. I do greatly miss the days of food directly healing your HP, but I do not miss it not stacking in your inventory, that's for sure. So here's what we'll do to get down to diamond level quickly. We'll do the classic dig straight down, but do it in a 2x1 hole as to not fall in lava. And here's the trick with ladders that I mentioned. You can actually skip a block in between them, and they function just the same. I'm not sure when that gets fixed, but it'll definitely be handy in the meantime. Another long gone mechanic is hoeing grass to get seeds. That's how you do it until they add tall grass later on. Hmm, okay, I hit bedrock, and I didn't find a single cave on my way down either. Bedrock begs the question of how I'm going to handle blocks that I cannot harvest, and the answer is that, uh, well, I can't harvest them. Ultimately, there will just be some blocks that I'll have to skip since there isn't or never will be a way of obtaining them. Bedrock, reinforced deep slate, command blocks, etc, etc. If I can't get it, I can't get it. Maybe we can all agree that seeing them is good enough, though, if they spawn naturally in the regular game. Oh yeah, I also forgot to make cobblestone stairs. Silly me. Oh yeah, and three cobblestone makes a smooth stone slab for some reason, because cobblestone slabs aren't a thing yet. That is strange. How the heck do you make books? I'm looking at the wiki. Three pieces of paper and a column. Like this? Interesting, and it doesn't even take leather. A bookshelf is the same though, okay, good. So back down we go, looking primarily for gold and for diamonds. Since I didn't hit a cave on the way down, it looks like we're gonna have to strip mine for a little bit. Ooh, what's this? It seems like not a whole lot. Yeah, pretty much nothing, but a good place to grab obsidian later on once we're able to harvest it. Okay, I strip mine the opposite direction, and now I found another path of lava with what seems to be an actual cave connected to it. It cannot be understated how slow you move through water in this version. Ooh, is that two separate veins? Okay, it's all clear above, and the cave splits into a couple more directions that we'll explore in a little bit. I also forgot to mention that we need redstone as well, which takes forever to mine in this version. Fun. One, two, three, four. Only four. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. You would hope for more from two different veins, but that's fine. Alright, redstone torch, iron door, and redstone itself is a block too, since you can put the dust down. And back down again. So we can go left or go right. I choose right.
Not a whole lot after clearing out both directions. Enough gold though to make a gold block. No more diamonds, sadly, either. Oh yeah, and rails. We'll stash those away as well. Might as well make one of these and grab some obsidian that we found earlier. God, I cannot wait for efficiency five. I really hate to do it, but our last diamond will be used to make a jukebox that we don't even have a record for. Nice. That is delicious. Finally, some good fucking food. Uh, this could be a spawner. There's three skeletons here. It could also be my death if I'm not careful. Oh, they fighting! Get them! My god, look at all these arrows. Not a spawner, unfortunately. Just a lot of skeletons. Hey, man. Hey, man. Do you want to not? Uh-oh. Ow. Wait, this is actually bad? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I wasn't worried. I missed this feature, being able to hit them through the corner of the blocks. So, Oh, he's not dead. Oh, no. Oh, there's more. Oh, back to the hole. Back to the hole. Back to the hole. Honestly, if you were worried about me there, then you're you're just silly. I'm fine. That being said, um, leave me alone, please. Okay, four more diamonds for six total. I need three more to make a diamond block, but I am out of food, so it'd be quite risky to keep going. But I am a brave boy. I would really hate to have to come all the way back down here for three more diamonds, so I'll take the chance. I gotta dig around this lava. Ooh, nice. It's a vein of eight as well. Well, at this point, I am thoroughly lost, so I think I'm digging straight up and out, and hoping that I can find my way home once I reach the surface. And I'm lost. I may never return home again. Oh, never mind, I'm just over there. One diamond block added to the collection. I also got enough gunpowder to make TNT. Dangerous and about another half a stack of iron and gold. Not of much use right now is gold, but it will definitely be very useful later on. Just realized I made a small error in my chest placement. Uh, you actually can't open the bottom three rows of chests since they're not transparent blocks until the beta 1.8 update. Should be okay though, because by the time we get to the second row of chests, we'll probably be well past that point. I went down for another strip mining sesh, and I don't know why, but if I try to cross this point right here, this happens. Weird. Gotta love Alpha Minecraft. This is most every block in the game. I am missing two. I will give you like 30 seconds to figure out which are the two that I still need. The answer is a red mushroom. I got a brown one. We need a red mushroom and we need mossy cobblestone. It was dungeon only. Yep, you can't make mossy in this version. You have to get it from a dungeon. So I think I'm gonna search the surface for a while for food and perhaps more importantly for maybe finding a red mushroom on the surface. I don't know, man, it's gonna be tough. The only animals, by the way, that drop food are pigs. There's no mutton, no steak from cows, it's only pork from pigs. It was, uh, a time. It was definitely a time, and you also were never guaranteed to get a drop. You could- you could kill a pig and get zero be zero meat for it. Oh, crazy times. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Hi. What- uh, stop! Very mean. Is very oh wait, there's two skeletons there. Stop! Do I have gravel? Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be kind of touchy. Luckily, their AI is absolutely brain dead. Oh, let's go! No, I'm gonna die! No, I'm gonna die! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to. I mean, really, I don't need the dungeon like loot. I just need one piece of mossy cobblestone, man. So, I could just, like, grab that and leave. Like, I could just take that. But I do want to loot it. I do want to loot it. Because I don't really know what they had in these old versions. But 
It might be something good. Okay, at least grab the mossy cobblestone and... Ah, stop. Stop it. Relax, man. Okay, that probably deactivates it, hopefully. Eh. <laughs> scary. Okay, eat meat. Alright, good. Bread. Cool, right? Doesn't stack. And string. And wheat. I think a music disc was, like, the really, like, great thing to get from these. Music discs, I remember, were like the cream de la crop from Dungeons. Hey, we got Mossy Cobblestone. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that was trash. Like, that loot was absolutely horrible. Am I... Am I brave? Is that going up or down? That's going down. Okay, so it is almost daytime. No, you're chicken? I think I'm chicken. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take... No! Oh, fuck off! I'm a coward. I've decided I'm a coward. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, you're still out here. That's fine. I can handle you. It's the you plus the creepers kind of the scary part. So, I should see my beach as soon as I cross the crest of this mountain. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you can't see it through the clouds, barely, but there you go. Look at that. Directional king. Jeez, that's almost the size of a regular block. Compare that to, like, a dirt block. Oh my god, why is that so big? What the hell is going on with that? It's a chunky-ass cactus, dude. We've made it home safely. We can now put away our mossy cobblestone. I literally just... And if you asked me what block I need, what would be the final block I need in this version, I don't think I would have said a red mushroom, personally. But as it turns out, that's the last block I need. People have done it by, like, teleporting, but... Oh, <gasps> let's go! <laughs> let's freaking go! We finally found one. Oh my god, that took forever. We have collected every single block in Alpha version 1.0. Alright, now let's head back. Luckily, we didn't have to go too far. Alright. The final block in Alpha version 1.0. A red mushroom. This is, by my calculations, every block available in this version of the game. There's rails, but no minecarts. There is minecarts, but kind of like the same thing as boats, where they're not really a block, they're an entity. I think technically they're an entity. Let's see. Alpha 1.1 Minecraft. I get... Is it literally just paintings, man? Paintings is the only thing that gets added. Nothing except paintings gets added. The 1.2 update adds the nether. Okay, so the 1.2 update adds the nether, which adds netherrack, soul sand, glowstone, carved pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, and nether portal blocks. Which nether portal blocks are not obtainable. And this doesn't look like it'll be too bad. I mean, going to the nether will be kind of funky in this old version, but... Man, they're... Like, these updates... Imagine an update that just doesn't add any blocks. That's how these old versions were, man. That's how these old versions were.